welcome back or welcome to my youtube channel i'm nia Dre. um so today is april 30th and tomorrow i am beginning my 60 day challenge of completing insanity so i recently completed 30 days of grow with joe if you haven't already check out my video for that so you can see my weight loss I lost 8.4 pounds today I am weighing in at 178 pounds and I'm going to see where I end up at at the end of 60 days of insanity yes the old school throwback Shanti insanity I did do this program before but that was in like 2014 I was in tip-top shape your girl was bomb all right, so I'm trying to get back there now. Um, I have on a swimsuit because <laughs> I just took my before pictures. So that's what I'm going to be using to compare because I wanted to really be able to see my body, um, weight loss clothes. I mean, weight, weight loss clothes, workout clothes. Um, I feel like sometimes I like covering up your stomach. So it's like hard to tell. So I really wanted to compare with a swimsuit this time. <clears throat> it should be noted and I want to put in at the beginning of this video that during these 60 days I will be counting my calories I do a 1200 calorie plan I count my calories and then I also intermittent fast so I eat from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. and then I fast for 16 hours sometimes I fast longer than 16 hours it just depends on if I feel full at like 4 o'clock I ate I met my calorie goal and I finished everything then I start fasting so sometimes I do fast longer than 16 hours but I just want to keep that in mind um, that I am having a low calorie diet if that's what you want to call it I eat what I want to eat but I do eat predominantly salads fruits um, vegetables here and there I have if I want some ice cream I'll put that in there if I want chips I'll put that in there but it's very few and a little like junk food and I am more of just eating healthy. I do um, overnight oats for breakfast now. I just discovered a recipe that I'm in love with. So yeah, if you wanna see where I go, watch the rest of the video. Otherwise, we're gonna see what happens. I'll, you know, we'll probably be checking in. I'm gonna probably put this video at the end of week one. So this will be the beginning of week one. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to just do like a little weekly update each week because 60 days is a long time and that's going to be a really long video if I try to wait and put everything at the end. And um, fun fact about me, your girl got a short attention span, so I can't watch very long videos uh, and I will not put y'all through a very long video either. So yeah, this will be the beginning of week one. Day one is tomorrow, big test, and I will holler at y'all on Friday. Saturday. Whatever the last day of week one is, I'll be back. Peace. Alright, so today is day one of insanity. I am sitting on my garage floor. I am getting ready to do my fit test. And I'm actually like super excited right now. Like I'm super excited. Y'all ignore how messy the back of my garage is. But anyways, I'm super excited right now. I'm super motivated. I got on the scale. I'm down a couple more little ounces, you know. But I'm down a total of now 10 pounds since I started my new, renewed weight loss journey. And I'm so, like, in a happy space about that. So I'm really excited right now for this fit test. I'm going to give it my all. I was feeling a little intimidated thinking about it this weekend. It is Monday. It is May 1st. Woo woo. Last month of school for all my educators out there. Um, so yeah, I just want to come on and record this because I'm like super excited to see how I do in this fit test. I'm ready to push myself and I'm about to make insanity my bitch. It's probably about to beat my ass. But I'ma still I'm gonna I'm gonna show up every day. I'm gonna show up every day. When I say plug Shanti, I mean that, okay? Why am I exhausted? And that was only the fit test. That was only the fit test. It was only a 25 minute fit test with a warm up and a cool down included. 
and I feel like I just got my ass beat by myself. Today is day two. I'm currently towards the end of the second workout, the actual first workout. As you can see, my computer is on pause. The light is in the way. I only have eight minutes left of this workout, and I am dying. Um, at one point, I felt like I was literally crying. Um, like my body was doing the motions of crying, but no tears would come out. Uh, and um, I just wanna get through these last eight minutes. I feel like I'm about to have an emotional breakdown because why is it so fucking hard? <sighs> Let me get these fucking eight minutes over with. I'm done, I'm just done. And I'm not even being dramatic right now. This is literally raw emotion of how my body feels during this workout and I've taken breaks. I don't let the video just run when I take a break. I pause the video and um, that way I can really get through the whole workout. So fun fact, I, I really do do the whole fucking workout because I pause it. But what should have just been a 40 minute workout for me has now taken me 42 minutes and I still have eight minutes left. So. I don't pause my watch. I let my watch keep rolling so I can know when my heart rate is down. And plus, I'm still burning calories. So right now, my heart rate is at 137. I should be good to get through the rest of these eight minutes without another break. But um, I've already burned over 400 calories. Uh, I'm literally physically shaking. At this point, I've burned 475 calories already. I'm literally physically shaking. Um, but this is all good. These are all good things. These are all good things. And um, this is why I picked this workout. I needed something to really push me to my fucking limits. And uh, that's where we're at right now. So, yeah, let me get these eight minutes over with. And uh, yeah, this is day two. I'm just with this all in a video for my first week of insanity. Because, bitch, this shit is insane. All right, so this is day three, week one of Insanity. I have not pressed play yet, um, so I haven't done anything. So let's check back in halfway because it's supposed to be a 20 minute workout. We all know, um, well, if you don't know, it definitely takes me way more than a lot of time because I have to pause and get my life together and then come back and try it again. So uh, I'm gonna come back halfway through the workout and uh, Let's see what I'm doing. Right, so I'm back. I have 19 minutes and 15 seconds left. Um, I'll be honest, this day two, I mean day three, ain't beating my ass as bad as day two. But that might be because I'm pacing myself and I'm just giving myself grace. And when I say that, I mean that I'm giving my best, but I'm also uh, being mindful that this is my first week doing this shit. So I try to keep up as best as I can. Um, but if I need to slow down just to keep going and not um, pause the video and take a break, that's what I'm telling myself. Like, it's okay to slow down, keep form, because form is more important than speed. And he says that all the time. So yeah, halfway through day three, I'm gonna come back when I finish and y'all can see what it's looking like. Should've saw me yesterday, bitch was crying. I, all right, y'all, I'm back. Uh, I gotta bend down like this, otherwise I had to get really far from the camera, y'all can't see me. So I'm done. Day three is complete. I'm just trying to get my heart rate down. It only took me 47 minutes, which is not bad, because it's a 40 minute video, which means I only took breaks that totaled out to seven minutes worth of breaks. So I'm very proud of myself there. Um, yeah, this is it, this was, this was working. I'm very sweaty. Very tired. First half of day three was not horrible because um, it had the warm up and then they were stretching and you were already halfway through the video with just that, which was great. It was the second half that um got kind of reckless. It was the second half where he just, he was not very polite. So day three is done though. So woo woo, go me halfway through the first week. Yay.
So I just finished week one of Insanity and I'm going to just do a very quick recap of this week. I'm still trying to catch my breath because I literally just finished the workout, but I want to do this video so I can get out the week one video. Hopefully, if not today, today is Saturday, May 6th and if I don't put the video out today, Hopefully I can put a video out tomorrow just so I can stay consistently tracking. So maybe on Sundays I will upload the recap of each week. Week one was hard. Um, I went from doing Grow With Joe workouts to doing, doing Insanity, which is a big jump. But I will say this, Grow With Joe, I did her advanced workouts and she has a lot of moves that Shanti has in his workouts is just, of course, you're doing it more intensely in Insanity than you are with Grow With Joe, you know? <clears throat> um, so that's the major difference, but I did like that there are moves that she includes, like the basketball drill where you go down and you act like you're shooting the ball. She does that a couple times in her workouts. Um, like the mountain climber where you're pretending like you're climbing a mountain. She has that in her workouts. Um, there's a couple things that she has in her workout that you will also see in Insanity. So I like that. That was cool. I don't know if that's something she did intentionally or if these are just common workouts. I feel like they're just common workouts because I, I consider myself advanced when it comes to working out. I just consider myself advanced and out of shape. Like I used to flip tires. I used to do battle ropes. I used to do all of that stuff. So I don't consider myself a beginner. Like I'm pretty advanced in my skills. It's just, I had not worked out consistently in over a year. Um, so I'm just trying to get myself back into top shape. And then there's also no like real gym where I live at. I live um, in an area that's being developed. So there will be a crunch fitness by my house, but it's not coming. It won't be completed until next year. So now that I've given some more background about me, um, back to insanity. It be my ass this week, but I did it. And this is the key and the advice that I want to give anybody who's looking for a challenging workout, a challenging at home workout. Um, insanity is definitely it. You're going to get your results. But I will say this, pace yourself. Shanti says over and over in the video, check your heart rate. I check my heart rate. 
If my heart rate is high, meaning if my heart rate is in the 180s, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to get my heart rate down to like 154, 163, somewhere like that. Sometimes even if my heart rate is up in the 177s, which it's very often there, depending on how I feel, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to get my heart rate back down and then I'm going to jump back in it. He says that, he recommends that. I think the problem is people think they got to keep up with Shanti in order to like get results or keep up with the people in the video. And I think that way sometimes, but that's not true. The goal is to just keep moving. Or if you need to take a break, pause the video, get your heart rate down, catch your breath, take some water, breathe, and then get back into it. The workouts are like 42 minutes, but I give myself at least an hour because I'm going to pause and I'm going to take breaks to get myself back down. I try not to be on no extended as long as breaks, but I'm going to give myself time to get my heart rate back down. Once my heart rate back down, I'm like, all right, Renia, let's go. Like, you good now. Your heart rate is down. Let's jump back into it. So that has been beneficial for me. And I feel like that has been key for me completing every workout this week is that I pause it. I get myself together. I get back into it. It's very doable. Um, the first part of the workout is the warm up. The warm up it gets intense um, because each time he wants you to go a little harder with the warm up. Then after the warm up is a stretch. This is a nice stretch. The workout itself is like 15 to 20 minutes. The actual workout itself is only 15 to 20 minutes. So if you break it down by time, you can do this. It's very doable. And, you know, Insanity has been out for like 10 years. It's been out for a while. And I know most of the videos that I found on YouTube are like over eight years old and stuff like that. So a lot of people aren't really doing Insanity anymore. But um, I still feel like it's a very effective workout. So that's my recap for week one. I did get on the scale and notice the scale had gone up. But... It's probably because I am working the fuck out of my muscles and I know my muscles is like inflamed right now. And everybody knows that muscle weighs more than fat. Um, so I'm just going to chalk that up as muscle weight right now. Um, I am going to just keep my ass off the scale. <laughs> and I probably won't weigh myself again, like seriously weigh myself until like week two. So when I do my next fit test. So yeah, that's week one of Insanity. I am exhausted. I've been coming home and passing out. And I have stuff to do today, so I really cannot afford to pass out because I got some assignments and stuff I did for a class that I'm in. So, yeah, I will talk to y'all next weekend. Peace.